Hi, I'm Kathy, the art teacher from Arch Projects for Kids. I hope my website becomes your favorite place for finding easy step-by-step -step drawing lessons. In today's drawing video, I'll be showing you how to draw an umbrella. Not a boring flat one, but a big one full of shape and dimension. Let me show you how. The first thing to do is to print out my guide that has some helpful dots that you can see here. Then gather your art supplies of drawing paper, pencil, black marker, and crayons. That dot template is on page three of my umbrella tutorial download, by the way. Step number one and two. After you have printed the template, you can follow the dots on the paper to connect them with straight lines. I'm gonna start at the top and work around going from dot to dot. Just draw slowly and do the best you can. They certainly don't need to be perfect. Step number three, to start making the sections on the umbrella, these first two lines are gonna to be totally straight from the center dot out. Now draw another line out from the center with a slight curve at the end and do the same in the opposite direction. It should now look like a large X. Step number four, draw two more lines that also have slightly curved ends. Then draw two more lines that also have ends that dip down a little bit. Okay, now the basic shape of the umbrella is done. Step number five, to draw the body that is peeking out from underneath the umbrella, start with a simple shape that looks like the bottom of a jacket. Step number six, now draw the shorts that are underneath the jacket. Step number seven, add two lines for the leg and then draw a boot underneath it. Draw another line for the other leg and add a boot there too. Step number eight, now a wiggly line all around those boots will look like a puddle. Then the background needs a horizon line so we know where the ground meets the sky. I'm going to draw a couple of rain clouds in the sky. Feel free to add more if you want. All right, the drawing is done, so it's time to trace everything with your black marker. As always, try to work slowly so you can stay right on top of those pencil lines. Okay, at this point you could fill that umbrella with patterns, but I'm just gonna make mine solid with some very bright colors. This light orange color is one of my favorites. The rest of the umbrella shapes are going to be a golden yellow color. If you are learning about patterns, this is an example of an ABAB pattern. Next, I want that jacket to have a lot of contrast, so I'm gonna make it a bright green. I always like using this color, but you do have to press hard to make sure it shows up. Now, some light orange shorts underneath that will really brighten things up. And those boots seem like they need to be that familiar yellow color. And feel free to color the legs any skin color you'd like. Now I do want to make that puddle light blue, as well as the color of those clouds in the sky. One of my brands of crayons has a really nice dark green shade. I think it's the perfect color to make a dark background against all those bright colors. And finally, a stormy sky seems like it should be a dark blue. Be sure to press hard and color very neatly so that none of that white paper shows through. And this umbrella drawing is all finished. I really like how this dot template helps students draw a large umbrella, but doesn't do it completely for them either. Takes a little bit of thinking too, which is really the best of both worlds, if you ask me. Hey, thanks for following along with me today. I hope you've enjoyed this umbrella drawing tutorial. 
please check out my website, Arch Projects for Kids, for more tutorials like how to draw clouds and how to draw a windy day. I'll see you next time. Keep on drawing.